On the line with us, as I mentioned earlier, is Tim Macy, chairman of the board of Gun Owners of America. Gunowners.org is the website. Uh, Gun Owners of America has, uh, you can tweet them at Gun Owners, by the way. Um, And uh, Gun Owners of America has endorsed Ted Cruz, at least according to Ted Cruz. Tim, welcome back to the program. Well, thanks for having me. So, uh, why endorse Ted Cruz? The guy's a religious crackpot. (laughs) <laughs> I would say, especially now with the three remaining candidates in the race, Ted Cruz is a million miles ahead of the other two on where he stands on the Constitution and the Second Amendment. So we're very comfortable with our endorsement. And yet Donald Trump yesterday called for a Second Amendment solution if uh, you know if he doesn't get the nomination. I mean, basically, not, earlier he was calling for riots. Now he's, now he's embracing the Second Amendment. Um, I, I like I like the way you said that. Now he's embracing the Second Amendment yeah. because in the past he didn't embrace the Second Amendment. In fact, he uh, said, as you probably know, that he was all in favor of the assault weapons ban uh, originally. Right. And so this, you know, this month he's pro Second Amendment while he's running for the Republican nomination. And uh, I like to. Uh, Uh, quote Ted Cruz when he speaks whenever I'm there to listen, and that is, you have to be clinically insane to be a Republican in a primary and not be for the Second Amendment. So Donald Trump's for the Second Amendment right now while he's running in a Republican primary. Let's hope if he gets to the nomination that uh, Mr. Trump will stick to his guns and uh, do what he says. Why do you think that, you know, why do you oppose the assault weapons ban? Why do you think that Americans should have weapons of war? Well, so you're taking on the left's... Uh, I'm just asking a simple question. You, you, said right, that, you said that Donald Trump opposed the assault weapons right. ban, and that offended right. you. And so I'm wondering, why do you think that Americans should be allowed to own weapons of war? And do you want to extend that to things like shoulder-fired missiles? So that's... That's why I'm trying to answer you. The simple answer is that the so-called assault weapons ban is nothing more than semi-automatic firearms. Uh, As you recall, in 2013, when Dianne Feinstein tried to bring her assault weapons ban back to the United States after it had been sunsetted because Congress realized it did nothing to stop criminals, it only hurt law-abiding citizens, so they they correctly let it sunset and leave us. This is uh, the ban that Ronald and, Reagan was so in favor of, right? <laughs> this is uh, the uh, new Feinstein in 2013 so-called assault weapons ban would have outlawed a huge number of nothing more than semi-automatic handguns in the United States, which... Are you're not talking about fully automatic? Are you talking about things like Mac tens that have that, that have the ability to be flipped to fully automatic in a military situation, and are sold to the public in in a semi-automatic situation, and then you can go on YouTube and find all these videos that show here's how you here's how you pull out that little piece of metal that prevents it from going full automatic. Is that the stuff you're talking about? Um, I'm cu- I'm curious uh, if you think that banning these things from law-abiding citizens has anything to do with stopping crime. So far, everything we've come across in all studies done, even including under the Clinton administration, none of these bans have ever worked. In fact, the most uh, gun-restrictive states in the country are the worst crime and murder rates. The guy who the guy who shot up Gabby Giffords, uh, who who tried to kill her and shot up that that uh, you know uh, killed a nine year old girl, killed a number, uh, you know, shot a number of people. He was stopped because he had to reload. Um, you know, the, I don't understand why you think that so, anybody so outside of outside of a shooting range, outside of you know yeah. recreational shooting. Um, uh, needs to have, uh, well, frankly, even a semi-automatic weapon. I mean, what you know, it's only in the last decade or so that police have stopped carrying revolvers and started going with these nine uh, millimeter semi-automatic weapons. But but 
civilians? What what is the you know outs? Uh, I, I, I I don't get it. Uh, do you do you I think am. you're going to have to do you think you're going to have to you know deal with a revolt of of uh, you know. Uh, you know, what are you afraid of? You think the Muslims are going to come and get us? Do you think the 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 the, the Democrats are going to take over the country? The, the, the you know you're going to have to shoot out some black helicopters. I mean, I I just I, I honest to God, Tim, I you know as a as a recreational shooter myself, and I I love to shoot skeet and I love to do target practice and I do with my brother competitively. I don't get why these high capacity magazines. And these uh, semi-automatic weapons that can be flipped to full automatic with minimal effort because they started out that way. They started out as military weapons, which is what you and I both know we're talking about when we're talking about the assault weapon ban. Why you think no, that... No, that's absolutely not true. That is absolutely 100%. Okay, and by the way, you asked me rhetorically, Second. why am I opposed to that? Because, Secondly, uh, because the studies show made... that the more guns you have, the more deaths you have. Now, granted... A majority of those deaths are suicides or accidents, but the more guns you have, the more deaths you have, and 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 we, you know, that that research has been done and it's conclusive. That is absolutely again not true. Um, so let's back up. You say you shoot skeet. I have. You have. What kind of gun do you shoot skeet with? Uh, it was a shotgun. What kind of shotgun? As it, geez, it's been at least a decade. I frankly don't remember. I, th I think it was... Was it a, was it a quote, semi-automatic shotgun? I'd have to go back and think. I I was so I was shooting. Word, uh, you know, I've word. done this. I done I've done this a couple dozen times, and I've you done it with both with the, the kind of shotguns where you break break open the the action and, mm -hmm. and drop in a couple of shells, and I, and I've done it with with uh, the the kind where you you put you know a half a dozen shells into the magazine. Although again, like if you're duck hunting, you get you you know you're only allowed three shells. I mean, there's there's a certain rationality to hunting. And and to and to target shooting with with you know within a set of rules as it were, and I don't understand why you guys want to just like blow off the rules and 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 turn America into a into a country that is filled with weapons of war. Well, I I think that the rules that we play by are called the Constitution of the United States, and under that definition, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I think we're playing by the rules. So should I, I have the right to hold words, to own a shoulder-fired rocket launcher? It's it's unbelievable how people always want to take things to the. Should absurd. I should I have the right to own a fifty caliber uh, a gun? Have you ever shot one? Uh, no, I've seen them, but I've not. I've never shot one. And do you think that's any more lethal than a thirty odd six? Uh, my understanding is that a 50 caliber round can penetrate a hell of a lot more than a 30 out six. Yeah, depending on what kind of shell you use and where and what kind of distance you're firing from. You can take down an airplane with a 50 caliber uh, gun. You can't do that with a 30 out six unless it's damn close to you. Wow, you'd have to be one heck of a good shot, um, or sh or shoot multiple times. But my yeah, point I is, I don't. I again, you know, I, you're. I don't see why you need a Mac 10 or an AR-14, even in semi-automatic mode, to protect yourself. Uh -huh. Well, what if the opponent or opponents have multiple firearms and they have Mac? -10? So, who are these well, opponents? What What difference would it make who the opponents are? Because I don't know of any home in your family. I don't know of any, unless unless you know the the the, the Michigan militia is coming to get me. Is that what you're talking about, Tim? So, so do you think that if somebody who is an ISIS supporter living in the United States and four or five of them decide they're gonna raid well, let's let's get the let's get the potentially semi-automatic or automatic weapons out of their hands? Hang on, just a second, Tim. This is the Tom Hartman Program. This guy always steps on me. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Tim Macy, chairman of the board of Gun Owners of America. The website is gunowners.org. You can tweet him at gun owners. Tim, thanks for being with us. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button. So you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.